Hi, my name is Drew Duncan. I'm the Assistant General Manager of National All Jersey, and today I'm going to be walking you through the easy to use mailbox price forecasting tool. This forecasting model was developed by Brian Gould of the University of Wisconsin with funding from National All Jersey. Now, to access the mailbox price forecasting tool, you can simply search dairy.aae.wisc.edu, and your web browser should take you to the site. I will also provide the link in the description of this video. So once you're on this site, you're going to click on the Dairy Marketing Tools in the right-hand corner, and it should take you to this page. And if you're a new user, you will have to register first. So click on the Registration button. You fill out this form and register. This tool is completely free. You just have to fill out the registration. I'm going to go back and log in. Now this mailbox price forecasting tool uses a dairy's own history of mailbox prices along with the herd's butter fat and protein content. These actual mailbox prices are compared to historical announced federal milk marketing order class 3 and class 4 prices. Then regression analysis establishes the basis between the dairy's actual prices and the federal milk marketing order prices. Then that basis is combined with the current CME futures contracts for class 3 and class 4 milk to project the dairy's mailbox prices for the next 12 months. So in short, the program looks at the previous relationship between your mailbox prices and the federal milk marketing order prices to forecast mailbox prices for the next 12 months. And these are based off of the futures contracts for, for class 3 and class 4. Now once you're to this page, you will see these two tabs and you can see the LGM analyzer. This is still in development but will be able to forecast income over feed costs for your dairy but we're after the mailbox price forecasting so I'm going to click this it'll take you to this page now to get started you're going to need to gather three pieces of monthly data number one is your dairy's mailbox price number two is your butterfat tests and number three is your protein test now for the model to work best is suggested to have at least four years of the most recent data and any additional years will just add more reliability to the to the forecast um, so once you have all of this information compiled, I'm going to click through and show you the information entered. Now you're going to want to save this information as you enter it. And this will be available to you next time that you log in. Um, after that is all completed, you'll want to scroll down. And you can select the, the data that the, the survey will pull from. So I'm going to use all of the data above for this forecast. So January 2014 through February 2018. I'm going to select to use my component levels here. And the components are going to be based off of last year's value. Now since class 4 options are not available for the first three months of 2019, you can forecast using only class 3 prices or the tool can estimate volatility for months without class 4 options contracts. Now for this presentation I'm selecting to forecast using an estimate for months without the class 4 options contracts. Now once you have everything filled out above you can click on the step 3 forecast button and it will take you to a new page. Now here we can see that the forecast period was is going to be for April 2018 through March of 2019 and the external data was last collected yesterday on 4 25 2018. Now the first tab description of data used in the forecast looks at the historical data that you have entered for your dairy. The tool will compute this form here and it will show your at your average mailbox price your standard deviation and your max mailbox price and your min mailbox price. Now this is just a graphical representation of that mailbox price. Here we can see the seasonal trend of your components. Higher in the winter, lower in the summer. Now we can see the same thing here with the protein content. Now the next tab, Mailbox Price Forecasting Modeling, has a box here describing the statistical model and, what, and goes over what some of the values are based off of. What you will want to see is this table of forecasted values here below. This is the data that the Mailbox Price Forecasting tool will compute from the dairy's historical data. We can see the Class 3 futures prices here and the Class 4 prices here and the dairy's forecasted price for the next 12 months here. 
Again, this tool compares your previous mailbox prices to federal milk marketing order prices to develop a relationship. It then uses these class 3 and class 4 futures prices to project the mailbox price for your dairy for the next 12 months seen here. Continuing on to the third tab, mailbox price forecast graph. This shows the previous table in a graphical form along with a high and low forecast, much like a high and low weather forecast. The table below shows the average standard deviation max and min prices. So here we can see our max is at $25.74 while our min is at $20.80. We can see all this through the graph here. Now continuing on to the last tab, detailed regression analysis. This looks at the statistical error in the forecast model. So here in this graph we can see the actual prices and the price predictions that the tool would have computed at that time. So these are your historical prices and then in the red we can see what the tool would have projected your mailbox price to be. So after going over these values we can see that this tool may be able to better predict your mailbox price and help you to be able to plan for the changing marketplace. And the accuracy of this tool will depend on the accuracy of the CME futures. So hopefully you can use this mailbox price forecasting tool to better plan for the changing milk market prices. I'm going to scroll down here, show you the prediction error graph. This just looks at the error. Here's a baseline of zero. I'm going to hit run again and it'll take you back to your data entered. Now to continue to provide the most accurate information for an individual dairy operation, this tool should be updated with the most recent mailbox prices and component levels. All the data entered will still be available, available to you next time that you log in. If you would like to read our November equity newsletter that also goes over this mailbox price tool, the link will be in the description of this presentation. If you have any questions when working with the mailbox price tool, feel free to contact me at 614-322-4462 or email at D Duncan at US Jersey. That's D D U N C A N at US Jersey. Thank you for watching.